my partner tonight. I mean, it's going to be a tough test tonight considering what we saw two weeks ago against the Wolverines. Yes, the Memorial Mustangs scored a great offensive unit, one of the top running backs, not only in District 31 5A, but I believe in all of South Texas. So it's going to be a lot of fireworks happening tonight. The Raiders looking for their first initial win. The Mustangs, I believe a, lot, a little bit more pressure on them because a win and they're right in the playoff mix. A loss and that could damage their season. So a lot of sleep tonight here at 31 5 Right now, McAllen High unbeaten atop District 31 5A. You have both Westlicos fighting tonight in the Tinaco Bowl, San Benito. The Bears, of course, looking to get into the mix of things. Raw won last night against PSJ Memorial, and now McAllen Memorial, after a sluggish start, they are right back in it. But they'll be on defense first, and we'll get a chance to see the Raiders running game to start this game. Back to Art Sammy Lopez. And number six. Number six, Juan Garcia. So the Mustangs kick it off. Garcia lets it bounce into the end zone after he made initial contact. So the Raiders offense will start from their own 25 yard line. Starting line for the Raiders. Now left tackle. Starting for the first time in the season, Adrian Caramillo, left guard is Anthony Marin, central Eddie Pavata, Andy Martinez and Javidara form the right side of the line, tight end is Chris Hernandez, running backs Joey Estrada, Jacob Rodriguez, wide receivers Eric Lopez, Christian Lopez and Saul Zuniga, and of course you've got the sophomore in under center, David Garza. Man in motion from that wing T formation, Raiders on first and ten. It's a handoff inside. Mustangs all over that one. Number one on Gaining the carry, Jacob carry is number Rodriguez. one, Jacob Torres, stopped by Lucas Rios. 11.49, first quarter. Raiders and the Mustangs knotted up at zero. So it was a first, a one-yard game for Jacob Rodriguez. He came in a couple of weeks ago. Joey Torres not in the lineup tonight. So they're going to rely heavily on the sophomore, Jacob Rodriguez. Instead of the offensive line on second and nine. It's a hand up to the left side and breaking through is Estrada across the 40 for a first down. That's a great way to start the game for the Raiders. Big first down there for the Raiders. Up about 12 yards on the carry. Good good point of blocking there by Andy Martinez. Javi Lara on the right side of the offensive line. The Mustangs come out with a 4-3 defense and they're second about seven people up on the line of scrimmage. So it's one thing to Line, but if you do get penetration and you get through that deep front defensive line, there is big holes getting to the secondary, so it could be a win-loss situation here for Memorial, attempting to stop the run. North or bread and butter has been the running game, and another big hole on that right side for PSJ North to stop by Nick Marion. He brought down Jacob Rodriguez once more with the help of Lucas Rios. It's a big pickup, a gain of maybe four. Brings up second and six for the Raiders. Defensively, for the Mustangs, they got a couple of great players, including that defensive end number 99, Patrick Orjaga from, from South Africa. Raiders keeping it on Once the ground again. again. Pickup of two. Stop made by Ojiaga. Brings up, up third and four third for PSA North. About four yards. 10-10. First quarter, Raiders and Mustangs knotted up at zero. PSA North lines up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Facing a four-man rush by the Mustangs. They stack the box. Garcia takes out himself. And he lost the ball, ball. And the Mustangs appear to recover it. And recovered by the Mustangs. They do. So the five. official points north in the north direction. Signaling the Mustangs have it. And on third and four, Osvaldo Calderon comes up with the fumble recovery for the Mustangs. And it plays on to what I said in the introduction of the broadcast. Raiders can move the ball, pick up a first down, four yards away from keeping the chains moving. But Garza got the swarm of the Mustangs offense. He put it on the ground and Memorial comes up with it. We'll see six foot seven quarterback Jonathan Sanchez and this Mustangs offense. Pitch of course to Trevor Space. Hurdles a defender, lowers his head, brings down 
couple of players for a seven yard gain and Trevor Spades the only rusher to gain a thousand yards in district brought down by Matt Garza on the season Spades 103 rushes for 11.57 and 8.4 average to go with 11 touches and he got exactly eight yards on that one. So right on cue, right on average, they're going to be very difficult to stop tonight. These Memorial Mustangs. Sanchez lines up on second and, second and two from 37. He sets the pass, has a man open. It's caught and it's going to be a touchdown for the McCall Memorial Mustangs number making the grab. Number 81, DJ Johnson. They targeted all six foot five of him. A little bit of misdirection. You expect Trevor Space to get the ball on offense. They give it to him early. And this time they go on the ground. They go through the through the air, over the middle, wide open. DJ Johnson for the touchdown. 38 yards on the toss and catch. Mustangs looking to add the extra point. It's good. So with 9.13 left in the first quarter, Mustangs draw first blood 7-0 over the Raiders here on KTRI TV 17. This game is being broadcast live on KTRI TV 17. For your thoughts or opinions or shout out, you can send tweets to at Alejandro Peña, hashtag T-S-J-A-I-S-T. Once again, that's at Alejandro Peña, hashtag T-S-J-A-I-S-T. For your thoughts and opinions or shout out on this game broadcast live on KGRI TV 17. Well, that didn't take long. Two plays on offense, and the Mustangs are up 7-0 after a 38-yard touchdown pass from Jonathan Sanchez to D.J. Johnson. Raiders set to return from the 7-yard line. It's Juan Garcia tackled at the 17, and that's where we'll see the Raiders' offense for the second time. Stop on special teams made by Adrian De La Torre, the junior tight end. First down in 10, PSA North. First and 10 from the 18-yard line, from its own 18-yard line is PSA North. Garza trying to keep the ball away from the opposition. Raiders have turned it over in critical situations, as was the case on their previous drive this time. On formation, you don't see them spread it out very often, but Raiders come out with four wideouts. Garza to pass, airs it out into double coverage, and it's intercepted by Nick Marriott. Yeah, Nick, Nick Marriott was simply playing uh, safety out there, uh, center field, Marriott. waiting for the ball. What about he simply threw it to double coverage, Nick Marriott steps up in front of the receiver and grabs the ball. The second turnover in two straight possessions for the Raiders. That gives Memorial great field position once again. I believe they'll be starting around at the north 38-yard line. Second interception of the game for Second turnover of the game for the Mustangs defense in just five plays for North. Again, excellent field position for the Mustangs. They line up from the Raiders 38 yard line. This time, Sanchez, Humble. the ball is on the ground, but the Raiders can't come up with it. There's a foul forming at the 47 yard line. I believe the Raiders line. did come up with it. And now Barbarena's pushing players away from the pile. Let's see. What happened, Nico Jaime was the player that put it on the ground. And, and the Raiders yeah, recover it, so they get the ball right back. Nico Jaime, excellent job running and falling on it. As we see here on the replay, 
It's number, well, we can't see the number right now. So that was David uh, David Garza? No, it can't be David Garza. Number 21 to the 45. Well, the fact of the matter is the Raiders come up with a huge turnover. And they get it right back. So it's kind of a 10-yard, 15-yard gain from where they started to where they are now. It's an 8-yard pickup on the ground, 821. First quarter, Raiders moving the ball inside the Mustangs 45-yard line. Garza, the snap. Rodriguez again to that right side. So they keep pushing over to Javi Lara. And Andy Martinez is the right side stop made by Lucas Fields. Yeah, they're going to keep pounding the right side around. They're finding success on the right-hand side. They pick up their second first down of the game. And as you alluded to earlier, Alex, uh, the North Raiders, they don't have trouble moving the ball. It's just they, they simply cannot hold on to the ball and sustain drives. Let's see if on this drive they can put something together and put some points on the board. Raiders spread it out. Garza has room to work with. He's got a lot of room on the right, right side. side. And he's got a blocker. He's got Estrada out there. And they finally bring Garza inside the 20 yard line to the 16. Nick Marriott, the man who made the interception, brings him down after a big game. Joey Estrada doing a good job of blocking for his quarterback after he started left, turned it right, and the Raiders are in business. 16 yards away from possibly tying this game up inside the red zone. You see here, Garza didn't see anything wide open. He was looking to pass. And the sophomore just took off. This time Garza hands it up to Estrada. He's got room on that right side. Touchdown, PSJ North. Joey Estrada from 60 yards out. An extra point away from tying this game with 731 first quarter. Great piece of running there by the Raiders. Great execution, and that is exactly what Coach Steve Flores needed. A big shot uh, in the arm there, big boost for that offensive team. The defense gets a huge sack, a turnover, a fumble. They recover it. Five plays later, they're in the end zone with a chance to tie it up at seven. Extra point it is underway. Ball. It hits the bar. And no good. Ball. Don't see that quite often. You see it maybe ball. look to the left, right, or just short or block. But this time, the extra point by Edgar Ruiz hits the left upright. No good. So the score remains 6-7. Mustangs over the Raiders. This thing turned quickly into the other side. Yeah. The, the Mustangs quickly scored a touchdown, a long pass play. A 38-yard touchdown pass. The Raiders, in the first possession, they fumbled. The second possession, they quickly threw an interception. You think the Mustangs had all the momentum of the world, but a quick fumble turned around everything for the Raiders, and this might be the boost that the Raiders need to have some self-confidence, saying we can stay with these kids from Memorial and get a big W tonight. It's an 80, 87 degree Friday night, 40% chance of precipitation, 51% chance of humidity, seven miles an hour is the power that the wind is carrying tonight. Raiders carrying some power of their own after turning a fumble by Mustangs quarterback Jonathan Sanchez into points. And now the Mustangs set to receive this one. Finally, Asal Garza picks it up on that right side. He's got room to work with, brought down by Sammy Lopez. Special teams tackle by the Raiders defensive back. Trevor Spade, Jonathan Sanchez, and the Mustangs offense will have their third drive of the game from their own 34-yard line. Raiders trailing the Mustangs 7-6. Here on KTRI TV 17, 723 left in this first quarter. Mustangs on offense. First and 10 from a four memorial from their own 34 yard line. Sanchez, the gift to Spades, skips a man and then turns the corner. He's into that second level, crosses midfield, and finally brought down by Benny Gomez. Yeah, Spade's just running off tackle there, showing off his speed and athleticism, picking up an easy 12 to 13 yards for a first down, and that puts the Mustangs right at midfield. Going with their workhorse, Trevor Spade's the only rusher in District 31-5A who has surpassed the 1,000-yard the plateau. First and 10 for midfield, this memorial. 
with a four-man rush. Spades. No, this time, Joel. It's Joel Alonso. That was a quick give to the fullback. Between the tackles. Miguel Lopez making the stop for the Raiders. So they pick up another huge game. First and 10 for Memorial now at the Raiders' 33-yard line. That was a good 17-yard game by Joel Alonso. Nice little one-two punch that the Mustangs have. Remember, Jonathan Sanchez, six foot seven, the quarterback for the Mustangs. One play they like to run is that quarterback sneak. Sanchez following his blockers, wanted to go left, and now goes up the middle. Good pickup for Sanchez, brought down inside the 20. Stop made by Lopez again, his second consecutive tackle in the secondary for the Raiders. So Sanchez was looking for some room on that left side. He got a block from Alonso and Spates and decided to take off for a 12, 13 yard pickup. First and 10 for the Mustangs at the Raiders 19 yard line. Sanchez rolls to his right, nearly intercepted. He was looking again for Andrew Leal. The wide out up. for the Mustangs. And yeah, number 81, DJ yeah. Johnson was wide open in the end zone. If he would have laid that ball out, maybe another five yards, that would have been an easy touchdown catch and a second touchdown catch for DJ Johnson. Brings up a second and 10 from the 19 yard line. Mustangs on the season have thrown for 275 yards, ranks fifth in District 31 5A. But after that incompletion by Sanchez, it's now second and 10 from the Raiders 19 yard line. Sanchez, the gift to Spates, lowers his head. To the Gets maybe four 15. yards. Tough running there for Spates. At times, he does Spades make it look easy. He's that kind of a KT Trevino. Yeah, we won't see Spates run up the middle too much. That's usually the job for Juel Alonso, but on that particular play, they ran it right up the middle. Spates still with good positive yardage, picks up three yards, brings up a third and seven at the 16-yard line. Third and long for the Mustang. Sanchez in at quarterback on that power formation. The toss sweep to Spades. Tries to turn the corner, going to outrun Garcia. And I believe he got just enough for that first down at the nine-yard line. Well, it'll be close. It'll be very, very close. The chain crew is on that far side, ball spotted near side. And they're going to... They're going to be measuring. They're going to be measuring the chains out. It's a big play for the Raiders defense. Six, seven is the score. Raiders trailing the McCown Memorial Mustangs and the chain crew here looking to see if it's going to be a first down or not. And it appears he has it by the nose of the football. First down, first Mustang. Down, that's a fourth Mustang. first down here on this on this drive here. Mustangs on their previous drive scored on the second play offensively. A 38-yard touchdown pass from Jonathan Sanchez to DJ Johnson. Second possession, fumbled it. Gave it back to the Raiders. And now they're lining up on first and goal from the Raiders' nine-yard line. Sanchez to give. Touchdown, McCown Memorial. This time, Joel Alonso, the fullback. From nine yards out, Joel Alonso with the short yardage carry. And McCown Memorial strikes for the second time in the game. Leads it now 13-6 to with 5.30 in the first quarter. is on its way and it's good so tack on point after a Cal Memorial strike from nine yards out six is the score 530 first quarter
adds its second touchdown of the game, this time nine-yard run by their fullback, Joel Alonso. Raiders set to return this one. It's a end around for Sammy Lopez. Had that whole left side to work with, but he finally got upended with a mixed tackle between Danny Isaguirre and Josh Corvinas. A promising return stalls at the 20. Raiders on offense for the fourth time. 521 opening period still has been a high scoring game by our standards. Macau Memorial up 14-6 over the Raiders. Yeah, and if the Raiders want to have any chance tonight, they're definitely going to have to match touchdown for touchdown against this potent Mustang offense. So let's see if the Raiders had success last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can continue that. Garza fakes the handoff, keeps it in the middle. That'll be first down yardage for Jacob Rodriguez. He faked it to his throw on the right side. Instead, opted between the tackles. Sam Hinojosa made the stop for the Mustangs. First and 10 for the Raiders now set up at the Mustang 32. I think uh, Steve Flores, Coach Steve Flores and Offensive Coordinator David Duty have got to be very pleasantly surprised and happy on how this offensive unit is handling the Memorial defensive line because they're opening up, opening up huge holes. Their running backs are getting through there and picking up good yardage. It's a gift for Estrada. Not much there. As he was hit below the, line the knees no by Ojaga. And I asked Coach Flores before the game. It's, you know, they've been hit by, among other things, uh, injuries and also the turnover category. And, you know, the, the, it's been a, it's a young team. Of course, it starts with the quarterback, sophomore David Garza. And they've had a lot of players. They need to move up from the junior varsity team to get them that experience. Getting ready for, for the rest of the season as C.J. Barbarena carries the ball. Tough running for the linebacker. He still, still won't go down, still on his knees. And Barbarena picks up maybe 10, 11 yards. Cody Stites brings him down, but a flag does fly at the 47-yard line. This looks like it's going to be against the Raiders. No, uh, Barbarena was struggling for some extra yardage. His knee did touch the ground. The referee blew the whistle. One, two, two, and we'll get a personal foul against the McCann Memorial Mustang. So add on another 15 yards there. So that puts personal the Raiders foul, into the Mustang. Mustang territory. The official tonight is Louis Hengler giving the indication that proves me wrong. It's against the Mustangs. The Mustang, 50 yard line, first down and, 10. and the Raiders are right back where they started their previous drive at the Mustang 40. <laughs> Tough running for CJ Barbarena. Very he, strong running. He back. is a snapper. He runs the ball. He's a backup quarterback and starts at linebacker. He's definitely one of the leaders as Rodriguez lowers his head, pushes the pile forward. Right yard pickup for the five. sophomore. Rodriguez listed on the roster as a linebacker, so you kind of see what the Raiders have to work with plug-in players who Coach Flores believes is their best, best athletes, Derek Alegria. Yeah, most definitely at this time of the year, a lot of kids are banged up. Uh, it's Ironman football right now. you got to go both ways. you got to help the team out any way you possibly can. Second and five for the Mustang 35 is North. Garza avoids the rush, throws it into the hands of Jacob Rodriguez. I don't think Rodriguez was expecting it. I'll tell you what, if Rodriguez holds on to that ball, he turns around and he's got nothing but daylight. He could have had a huge gain there. He cut him off guard a little bit, but he should have had it right there in the breadbasket. He, if he would have caught it, he had two blockers there, Chris Hernandez as well as Dion Hernandez. So he had two blockers there on the near side, and the Rodriguez was just not aware. Yeah, the he, Raiders are mixing it up pretty nicely tonight. Put some runs, some passing. Third and five, Mustangs taking the lines, delay handoff for Rodriguez. He got stopped short, pushed back. It'll be a pickup of two. Lucas Rios. Making the initial contact, and that'll set up fourth and three. Fourth and a long two, almost a three. Yeah, pretty much a three. They need about three yards a game here, so big play. That offensive unit has been doing an outstanding job so far. I'm sure Coach Lode is going to definitely rely on them here on fourth and three to pick up the big first down. See the physicality that the Raiders have encountered all season long. The, the helmets completely scratched up. Those were new at the beginning of the year, but Lodes leaving his offense on the field, relying on his sophomore quarterback, Mustangs with four down linemen. Garza, a quick throw. 
over the hands of Barbarena. It was going to be a quick toss with the coverage. Great job by Jesse Osuna. And that was actually a, a great call because uh, Mustangs had about pretty much all 11 men stacked up on the line of scrimmage. He just led the receiver a little bit too much. And that uh, incomplete pass results in a first down now for the Mustangs. Barbarena going back to play defense after that incompletion. It was an awkward play because Garza didn't quite do a three-step drop. He did maybe a half a step drop and just waited there in the line of scrimmage in the eyes of uh, Mustang hands along the way. Threw it over the hands of CJ Barbarena and the Mustangs take over at their own 33 spades with blocking on that left side still on his feet. Dives forward into Raiders territory at the 47 yard line kind of hung in there in the air for a little bit Juan Garcia was the player that brought it down yeah once again Spades quickly runs around the corner shows his athleticism once again tight running uh, walking the tightrope if you will skipping down the sideline for another extra of five eight yards results in a first down for the Mustangs and once again the Mustangs are inside Raider territory at the 48 yard line First and 10 for Memorial at the Raider 48. Sanchez, the quarterback. Sanchez to give to Alonso. Alonso runs into a pile. Number 26, seven inches. On that play, Matt Garza dropped it down the defensive lineman for the Raiders. He is your North defensively. Ranks, if not dead last, almost last in every single statistical category. They've allowed 60. 1,666 yards, that is eight. They average 400 yards allowed. 2,800 yards given up in those seven games. Toss sweep to Spades, he's got room. Oh, what a nice move to the outside. And Benny Gomez goes down on him. Up ends him at the 11, 12 yard line. Gomez goes low, goes low and brings down Trevor Spates, another big pickup for the Mustangs. Yeah. And, it, and this is after the Raiders turned it over on downs. Yeah, Spates was in open field uh, for about 15 yards before anybody saw him downfield. He had two defenses in front of him. He put a little juke step on him and sprinted again once towards the sideline and got to about the 16-yard line. Mustang setting camp from the Raiders 16, first and 10 with a 14-6 lead. Sanchez under center. The give to Alonso, waiting for the blocking to materialize. Still going inside the five yard line. Another first down for the Mustangs. KT Trevino making the touchdown saving tackle at the two now. Yeah, right now it's no mystery what the Mustangs are doing. And they're running on the outside, around the edges with spades and right down the, the gut with Alonso. And they are being very, very successful right now. First and goal at about the two yard line. First and goal from the two. They bring the power package. Alonso the fullback, Space the running back. Sanchez could also sneak it in himself. It's a toss to Space. He's got blocking on that right side. Touchdown on Callum Memorial. With 58 seconds left in the opening quarter. It is now 20 to six. Mustangs over the Raiders. Said it, Javier. It was no mystery what they do in these short yardage situations. They did score on a 38-yard touchdown pass to open up this game. But their last two possessions, a nine-yard run by Alonso. Now from two yards out, Trevor Spades takes the toss and runs it into that right side. Extra point by David Almaraz is good. 21-6, new score, Mustangs over the Raiders with 58 seconds left. Friday Night Football here on KTRI TV 17.
issue. The Mustangs have amassed 135 yards of total offense, and we still have 58 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Mustangs up 21 to six after that two yard touchdown run by Trevor Spades. This of course came after the Raiders turned it over on downs deep in Mustang territory. And that's the kind of risk that coach Steve Flores has to take when his team is 0 and 7. Rodriguez takes it in, right side, pushed out of bounds at the 45 yard line. A late flight comes in as Jose Jimenez made the special team stop for the Mustangs. Nice bit of return there, and they should tack on another 15 yards for a late hit. He was clearly out of bounds. He rode him all the way to the ground. He should have let go. So that'll give him another great field position. So he's a late hit, personal foul, going against the Mustangs. Mike's not working. Ours is, and we give you the call. First down for the Raiders. Now at the inside Mustangs territory, they're going to bring this all the way to the 36. The Raiders have had excellent field position the past two, three drives. They must really start taking advantage of this. I mean, you know, you're, you're going up against a great offense. You know you're not gonna stop them. You wanna just contain them, hold them to maybe 30 some yards, 30 some points, but you gotta put a point yourself. And right now they're stuck at seven. They only got 36 yards to go. Let's see if the Raiders can reply here and score another touchdown. Raiders on the slot tee, man in motion. They give it to Sam Lopez. Number nine, Sam Lopez, Lopez takes it. Out 10 yards, 11 for a first down stop made by Cody Stites. Sammy Lopez has been one of the Raiders' down, top weapons North. on defense and special teams, scoring a couple of touchdowns and also making huge interceptions. But the Raiders put it on the ground too much. And now. They set up for first and 10. The give to Rodriguez, left side. Takes three Mustangs to Get bring him down. A good pickup for the sophomore, the Nick Marriott and Jesse Osuna bringing down Rodriguez. Number second and three tackle, from the Mustang Marriott. 18. 32 seconds left, Mustangs trip. Mustangs leading 21 to six over PSJ North. Good crowd on hand tonight at PSJ Stadium to witness this District 31 5 matchup. Raiders, the give to Estrada. Nice spin move to get away from the defender. Go Dives Estrada, to the 12 for a first yard pickup. Michael Garza touched him last. Fresh set of downs to work with for PSJ North. Clock stopped at 11.1. And now it ticks down. The Raiders moving to the other side of the field. It's the end of the first quarter. McCallum Memorial Mustangs leading it 21 to six over the PSG North Raiders. Raiders though will start on the Mustang 12 yard line on first and 10. Friday night football here on KTRI TV 7. Little bit of movement on that Mustang side, but let's see what the official Louis Hengler has to say. It's going against the Raiders. They start this this quarter with a five-yard false start penalty. Backs them up. First and 15 from the Mustangs, 17. Garza under center for the Mustangs. Man in motion is Lopez. Garza rolls to his left. He's got Lopez wide open, but bringing him down from behind was number 42. Sam Hinojosa, the sophomore linebacker, drags down Garza. So it's sophomore on sophomore crime here. It's a loss of a few. It'll be second and 10 for the Raiders from the Mustang 22. 
That's not the way you want to start the second quarter there. They had uh, first and 10 in great field position at the 13 yard line up front. A penalty on before first down and then a, a quarterback sack now. So that brings them to a second and 20 at the 22 yard line. Garza to pass, rolls to his right, following his blockers. Now steps up, hit as he throws it. The ball come loose. It's incomplete. But that was a fumble. The Mustangs were lined up for a scoop and score. Yeah, that would have been ruled a fumble. That would have been a definite touchdown for the Mustangs. Somebody scooped it up. He was on the on his way in for a touchdown, but stopped at midfield saying it was an incomplete pass. Cody Stites making the stop for the Mustangs. They started off first and 10 from the Mustang 12, and the Raiders see themselves facing a third and 20 situation from Memorial's 22. They've gone back twice in completion now, and the Mustangs bring the heat on the blitz. Raiders pick it up. It's a quick toss to the outside, looking for Estrada. Hit his hands. Pass intended to number 85, Chris Hernandez. Actually, they were intending the pass to Chris Hernandez, a senior tight end. You don't really see him much. Mostly serves as a blocker, but they were going for the tight end. Raiders bringing out the kicking unit. It appeared that uh, he was open. It looked like he was going to possibly make the grab. Unfortunately, they didn't. So, yeah, it's going to be a long field goal attempt here for the Raiders. It's going to be about a 40-yard attempt here. 40-yard attempt for the agent or the kicker is Edgar Ruiz. Snapper CJ Barbarena. The holder is Joey Estrada. They've been practicing field goals. And Ruiz kicked him through. Ruiz, it has distance. Did it clear the uprights? Yes, it sir. did. A 40-yard field goal by okay. Edgar Ruiz. Makes it 9-21 in favor of the McCallum Mora Mustangs. They didn't get into the end zone, but they had three points. A 40-yard field goal by Edgar Ruiz. 21-9 is the score with 10.56 left, second quarter. Wasn't a touchdown, but the Raiders are on the board after a 40-yard field goal by Edgar Ruiz. Now the Mustangs set to receive it with Joey Ozzy Salazar. Salazar, good blocking on that right side. Stumbles at the 25-yard line. Mustangs have scored in the last two possessions. And they'll start off at the 25-yard line. Second quarter, McCown Memorial on top of PSA North, 21 to 9, 10 47. Is the time. Quarter is number two. Alex Pena, Javier Martinez on the call tonight from PSJA Stadium, District 31 5 matchup. We're live here on KTRI TV 17, and Sanchez is the quarterback for the Mustangs. The pitch is to Spades. Sanchez getting a good block for his running back. A pickup of four. Stop made there by Augustus Hernandez, the defensive lineman for the Raiders. A pickup of four by the officials. Yeah, this Raider defense, I think they got to step it up on us. They gave up 173 yards of total offense in the first quarter, 83 of those rushing by Spade. So this defense got to step it up. Their offense has nine points on the board, but they need to slow down this memorial offense. Raiders bring four on the defensive front. They stuff the ball carrier on this attempt. Spades getting stopped by And this is what they're doing, they're stuffing the run. And they force a third and six now from the 29 yard line. They fake it to Alonso. 
and Spades got met up at the line of scrimmage by Guerrero. That's the way you have to tackle one of the best offensive weapons in the, in the entire state of yeah, Texas. Great job by Guerrero. Open field tackle one on one. Simply put his helmet on the ball here and knock him down. It was behind the line of scrimmage, but with a running back like Spate, that's got to be an open field tackle. Sanchez, with all sorts of time, takes off now, diving for that first down marker, steps out of bounds, and I believe he got it. Good awareness by the sophomore. They landed the ball at the 35-yard line, and they'll see there if he has enough for that first down. Yeah, he was right at the marker, so they should be getting rewarding him the first down. They give the indication, Mustangs. Pick up a first down on a good run by their quarterback, Jonathan Sanchez. And yeah, the Raider defense did extremely well. They defended the pass extremely well there. It's just the quarterback uh, elected to run around the left side to the Memorial bench and just got enough to sweep by a first down. Think of this. Jonathan Sanchez is taller than Ben Roethlisberger. He's taller than he's, Josh He's Freeman. tall and lanky, and, you know, it doesn't seem like he's moving too much, but those strides are covering up a lot of ground. First and 10 for the Mustangs from their own 35. It's a toss to Spades. Spades turns the corner. Out of bounds is a 38 by Ibi Guerrero, Sammy Lopez, and also line. Benny Gomez. A gain of one. Yeah, Sammy Lopez got a feel good after Sammy that play. Lopez, he was chasing Spades from uh, the hash mark all Benny the way to the sideline. Kept up with him. Ran him out of bounds yards. for a minimal two-yard gain. Yeah, anytime you can tackle spades bring him down at least you know that you chased him down and caught him those little victories that are going to keep the raiders mm -hmm. in this ball game second and eight a two-yard pickup memorial from its own 37 yard line mustangs with two wideouts to the left sanchez waiting for the blocking takes off and gets back to the original line of scrimmage, picks up maybe one. KT Trevino ending the pursuit for the Raiders. Yeah, David Garza put the initial pressure on the quarterback, flushed them outside, and KT there with the tackle. It'll bring up a third and nine. So great opportunity here for the Raiders to force the, the Mustangs into a punting situation. The tackle was made by Jesus Montañez. Oh, excuse me, you Mustang. see the initial contact by Montañez. And now the Mustangs take them out on third and nine. I'd like to make this announcement. Reminder, next Thursday night, PSJ Southwest Jason. takes on Roma. We'll kick off at 7 o'clock. We'll have the game live on KTRIT 17 with audio and video tomorrow. on Friday night. What will be the other na the name for the other uh, tri city rivalry? We got we've already seen the Raiders against the the Bears, the Bears, the Bears against the Wolverines, and now this is the battle for that second for the for second place in in the city. Right, PSJ Memorial against PSJ North. The Wolverines will be the designated home team, but whenever you do have two of the city teams playing each other, you get a good crowd. And it's going to be an intense game. It's going to be very tense. If it's anything like the Raiders against the Bears, it should be a good one. We'll I'd buy a ticket very early for that game. Tailgate, whatever you have to do, be here on time at PSJ Stadium. Kickoff at 7.30, the Wolverines against the Raiders. But right now, the Raiders trying to get a stop on 39. It's a handoff to the outside. And Space oh, takes, space. takes it up the middle on the delay. CJ Barbarena stopped the bleeding a little bit, but the Raiders also like to make this letting down answer. on the defense, yeah. getting, getting a 12 yard pickup by Spades. It appeared the Raiders had him corralled right at the line of scrimmage, but Spades just put on the afterburners a quick spray. solid defense right now but it's just uh you know the ability of that of what the mustangs have in spades is that he's a great elusive runner and he's just picking up enough yardage to prolong these drives for the mustangs mccall memorial first and 10 from its own 47 it's a high snap for sanchez he faked, fumbles it. he faked the gift to spades ball. took it on his own Ball was loose, and recovered by the Mustang. but it was recovered by the offensive yards. lineman number 76, Teddy Garcia. Sophomore guard falls, falls on it and avoids the second turnover 
for the Mustangs. So we played, we are at the 740 mark of the second quarter. The Mustangs 10 yards away from the 200 yard mark. They're moving the ball on second and seven after a three yard pickup. Jonathan Sanchez, Sanchez under center, four down lineman, a give to Alonso, but a Hold flag flies fly. near midfield. It's gonna be a false start against the Mustangs. Yeah, the Mustangs average 348 yards of total offense. They're way on, well on their way to exceed that tonight at 200. But a false start against the Mustangs, and that brings um, some new life to this uh, Raider defense. That'll force the Mustangs into a second and about 12 yards, second and 12 from the Mustang 45 yard line. Memorial from the eye. Man in motion, that's Leal. A toss to Spates. Spates following his blockers. Spates on the carry. To they got the brought down a combo tackle by Juan Garcia and Once again, put up to the test. It's going to be a third and five from the Raider 48 yard. On the Mustang second possession, but after that, it's been touchdown, touchdown. So let's see what the Raiders can step up and do here. Team as the North allowed a 12 yard pickup on third and nine. This time, Mustangs have five to go. A toss to Spades. They'll get the first down and then some. Spades all the way to the 40, 30, 39 yard line. First down for the Mustangs, Jesus Montañez made the stop for North defensively. 6.27, second quarter. Charging on offense with a 21-9 lead after the Raiders tagged down a 40-yard field goal from Edgar Ruiz. The Raider defensive line getting some penetration into the backfield. They just quite simply cannot bring down Spates in the backfield. And he's picking up enough yardage for first downs. Alonso Spates in the backfield. Two receivers near side. Spades. He does a little step movement very well. Keeps his legs churning. And it seems like there's always two tacklers needing to bring him down. Nico Jaime leading the charge for the Raiders. But every time Trevor Spades runs, it's always dragging down two or three defenders. That's the kind of power that this running back brings to the Mustangs offense. Yeah, when you talk about Trevor Spates, they, they say, well, he's an elusive quick runner with a lot of speed, game-breaking speed. But in reality, if you see him live, he's actually a strong running back. He can take the punishment. He can get dish out the punishment. And he's definitely a very good, durable running back. Single wide out to that left side. But they keep it Jonathan on the ground. Sanchez to the 22. Sanchez took it on his own. On the tackle, number 52, Stopping. Joe Balderas. Number 52, Joe Balderas. It'll be second and six for the Mustangs. Trevor Spades, sophomore running back, 5'10", a buck 85. He actually bulked up from his freshman season, weighed in at 155 when I asked him two weeks ago what he did. Just Jim, Jim, Jim. Alonso with the toss, won't go down, cuts it in the middle, still on his feet. Pushed down basically from his socks. Making the tackle, Kevin Trevino. Well, he has a towel there, so maybe that's what they brought down. And Alonso brings in a totally different running style. He's, he's got his quickness of his own, but man, he he's tougher up the middle. That offensive line really loves Alonso running up the middle right behind them, man. Once again, the Mustangs have a first and, and goal at the nine yard line. First and goal from the nine. This is exactly where Alonso scored in, earlier in the game. This time, push backwards. Great stop by the Raiders defensive line. It's Matt Garza, the sophomore. Yeah, Matt Garza right there. Submarines, Alonso, great penetration. And that's what the Raiders have been doing for the most of the night. It's a Simply, they're making, they, Garza made the tackle. Great job. A lineman was right on top of him. And great, great execution there by Garza. Of making an open field tackle. And you see the dirty work by the nose tackle, Bear Estrada, getting down and taking the charge. It's actually number seven. Yeah, 78, Bear Estrada. He just came down. in a few plays ago, too. It's a loss of one, second and ten. Second and goal, actually. The give to Spades. 
lowers his head, takes five yards on the pickup. It'll be third and five now, third and goal from the five. 131 yards rushing for Trevor Spates. Last time we saw him here two weeks ago against the Wolverines, he had 200 yards by halftime. Carried the ball once in the second half for a five yard pickup. Raiders trying to bend but not break defensively with the Mustangs in their power package. Garza to pass, touchdown, Macau Memorial. Andrew Leal taking the pass from Jonathan Sanchez. Mustangs on a five yard touchdown pass from quarterback Jonathan Sanchez to Andrew Leal. Leal, six foot three, 260 pounds. Big number for the Mustangs. Have a lot of height and they've been using it. Second touchdown pass of the game for Jonathan Sanchez. The extra point is good. 3 0, 3 13. Second quarter for Calvin Moore, 28, PHA North, 9. is the score. Mustangs over the Raiders. Garcia returning it in from inside his own 10 yard line spins away and then brought down at the 12 at the 23 yard line excuse me. Raiders have 305 to work with before the first half expires. They have been able to move the ball, turned it over twice, stalled on their second drive inside the Mustang 20. Their last drive ended with a 40-yard field goal off the foot of senior Edgar Reese. Mustangs with a wing tee. It's a gift to Estrada. No, it's a fake. A flag flies in there. I believe Joey Jacob Rodriguez got the carry yesterday. Number one, brought down by Orly Cortez. Let's see what Louis Hanger has to say, the official for tonight's game. It's a face mask call against the Mustangs. That will tack on 15 yards. Fresh set of downs for the Raiders with 259 to work with 28 9. The Raiders trail. I want to say that's the third personal foul, 15 yard penalty against the fourth. I'm being told it's a fourth penalty, fourth personal foul against the the Mustang. So th that's a situation in which the, the Raiders need to start taking advantage of it, getting gifts of 15 yards every time there's a penalty like that. So they need to start putting more points up on the board. Barbarena was in motion. Garcia and he's gone. Gone. Rodriguez about to be gone. A touchdown saving tackle by Michael Garza. Excellent run there by Barbarena. The emotions gave to Javier Martinez. He still had Garza to hurdle over him, but the soft, the, the junior defensive back brought him down. You see a good tackle there by CJ Barbarena, disposing of blockers, and Garza tugging Rodriguez's jersey and pushing him out of bounds at the 39. It's first and 10, 241, second quarter, Raiders in business. Barbarena in motion on that left side. Rodriguez again following his blockers. Got a two-yard pickup, another Mustang signaling. They have it, and Rodriguez fumbles and gives it right back to the Mustangs. Joseph Torres making the contact for the Mustangs. 
It's a third turnover of the ball game for PHA North. Again, a promising drive stalls on a turnover that has been the entire, that has been a microcosm of their season. Yeah, it's something that uh, Coach Lotus has seen too many times this year. They they looked like they're about to do some damage, put some points on the board, get some continuity going there on the offense, and then there's just this little slip up. You know, they're a young team, but you know, when we're in week seven of the season, it's time for uh, these kids to stop making these little mistakes and, and put together these drives and put some points on the boards. Sanchez with time to throw, airs it out, and it's intercepted by the Raiders. That's going to be number six, Juan Garcia. With the turnover, that's the second time that the Raiders and Mustangs have exchanged turnovers. And Juan Garcia avoiding further damage by the Mustangs offense. He did a great coverage on the wideout. You see here the give, the fake. They run it up, they throw it on play action. Yeah, quarterback simply underthrew the receiver. And he beat DJ Johnson, all six foot five of them. And that's very tough for a defensive back to compete against a tall, lanky receiver. The Raiders have it from their own 34. Garza sets the pass over the middle. He's got a man open. Eric Lopez couldn't that's scoop it up. They, they seldomly throw it out. This time it was going to be a huge would-be catch, but great play call there on first down. Play action pass. He had two receivers open. He had Eric Eric Lopez open. He had Chris Hernandez open. He elected to go with with Lopez and quite simply overthrew him, led him by a yard or two. If not, that could have been a good good touchdown for the Raiders. It's those kinds of plays that decide whether a team gets confidence heading into the second play. Jacob Rodriguez to the 37, a gain of about a yard. Out on first down, they pick up two on the run. Osvaldo Calderon made the stop for the Mustangs. Klopp keeps ticking 204 until the first half expires. 28-9 Mustangs over the Raiders. Friday Night Football here on KTRI. Alex Peña and Javier Martinez on the call. Raiders on the move, looking to add some points in this second quarter. Garza takes it his own. He doesn't have any blockers. That was a naked run. On that left that side. The Questionable the blocking by the Raiders. And then a late, a late flag late comes flag in, in in the vicinity of Christian Lopez. Orly Cortez bringing Garza down. And let's see if this is going against the Mustangs or the Raiders. Louis Hengler sorting things out with his officials. Officials mic works, that would be great. I'm trying to read lips here, but we do know it's a penalty against the Raiders and the Mustangs. I want to say it's on sportsman like conduct uh, going both ways, offsetting. And now we'll have a timeout by the McAllen Memorial Mustangs. Completion was on third down. It was a penalty against the Raiders and the Mustangs on sportsmanlike conduct. They said it was offsetting, but they won't replay the down. It's fourth and nine. And now Reese punted away. The first punt of the game goes into the hands of Ozzy Salazar. And Salazar on that right side outruns the blocker. And finally brought down by Jacob Rodriguez. Rodriguez, the sophomore, doing 
damage on offense and also a possible touchdown saving tackle on special teams. But the Mustangs get excellent field position after the great return by the sophomore, Ozzy Salazar. Mustangs start from the Raiders 41, first and 10 with 69 seconds left in the first half. Mustangs with three wideouts, two to Sanchez's left and Andrew Leal to his right. Sanchez taking off, getting a block from Salazar and he's off to the races. Sanchez scores touchdown for the Mustangs. That's a 41 yard touchdown run by the quarterback. So we've had Sanchez score, Trevor Spade score, Alonso scored, so a three-headed monster showing his head once again. Long touchdown run. He had Andrew Leal on that right side, six foot three, 260 pounds, and he did good blocking job for their quarterback, Sanchez, six foot seven, 240 pounds. That's a lot of man out there on that right side in the open field, and the extra point is good. A 41-yard touchdown run by the Mustangs. Makes it 28 to th 34 to 35 to nine. They were a little bit late on the scoreboard. 41 yard touchdown run by Jonathan Sanchez. Makes it a new score, 35 to nine Mustangs over the Raiders. Hundred and thirty one yards for Trevor Spates on the ground. Two hundred and ninety three total yards rushing for the Mustangs. Their latest addition was a forty one yard run for a score by their quarterback, Jonathan Sanchez. His third touchdown of the game, two passing, one rushing, and now Garcia. Saw a little bit of green grass in front of him. But the Mustangs special team was able to corral and bring him down. Carlos Garza, the senior linebacker with his special teams tackle. And the touchdown run by Sanchez took only 10 seconds off the clock. Raiders with all three timeouts left and a minute 03, a minute 03 to work with. Yeah, it'd be nice if the Raiders did something positive here on offense. Uh, take it into the half. As we all know, they received in the first half, so the Mustangs will get the ball back to start the second half. But it'd be nice if the offense could give that defensive unit a break and uh, sustain a bit of a drive, possibly cut into the lead right before halftime. 103, second quarter. Joey Estrada almost broke it loose into the second Joey level. It was a jersey tug tackled by Lucas Rios at the 36-yard line. Raiders. And the Raiders burned their first time out with 54 seconds remaining. And once again, the Raiders run behind... Uh, Andy Martinez and Javi Lara, they, they found quite a bit of success running down the right side of the offensive line. In that case, they picked up a good seven yards. With 54.7 seconds left to go in the half, it's Mustangs 35, Raiders 9. The Raiders have the ball second and three at their own 36-yard line. The Raiders have had success running the ball with 156 total yards rushing, yet they don't have a single yard passing. 
Garza airing out, looking for Lopez. Couldn't make the grab into triple coverage. He is arguably one of their best offensive weapons, and the Mustangs have watched film. Sammy Lopez can return punts, kickoffs. He's had interceptions on defense when they put him. Three defenders. He almost made the grab, but it was just a little bit too far from his fingertips. Yeah, another near miss for the Raiders. They've had golden opportunities through the passing game. They just haven't connected yet. Oh, nice and run now, there. A big run Barbarena. by CJ Barbarena. Where did he come out of? He steps out of bounds at the 37-yard line. I was looking at my computer to do an update. Nick Marriott pushed him out of bounds, and that's the kind of run you can get from that wing T formation. Yeah, they ran a, a counter play. It looked like, it looked like they were going to run to the right side again, but Varena cuts it back to the left, simply le leaves everybody behind. The whole defensive unit was fold on the play. They were sold to the left side, but Varena cuts it back to the right. Huge gain. Barbarena showing he's one of the top players uh, for the Raiders. 31-yard run by Barbarena, Mr. Do-It-All for the Raiders. He snaps the ball, he plays linebacker, runs the ball, and he's also their backup quarterback. Yeah, he's a team leader, and he's definitely uh, one, of, one of the captains on this football team. And I asked Coach Lopez as he... What exactly plays into the role of motivating his team when they are 0-7 on the season. That tends to discourage a lot of these kids. The City Commission they support start to question PSJ why they need to come out of practice. We show our support by but Lopez is who they've coached for us told me that C.J. Barbarina plays a big role. And convenience. Better drink well, I'll say this. Uh, you could say soon just by his demeanor. It's pride. And the pride that he has in the real childhood of this Hill High School here in town. Type of that he is either the type of sure that's going to rub off on the younger kids and that's exactly the type of leader that coach Flores needs you know, coach Flores in his first year hasn't found the success that he's liked to have had foundation and these are the type of kids that he wants to have in his program the kids like Barbarena, you know Sammy Lopez these are, these are gamers so Hopefully, with that being said, you know, this, this Raider team uh, in the upcoming there. weeks and next season will be a much better and much improved football team. Garza following the block from Rodriguez, throwing it into the hands of Eric That's Lopez, the Lopez other Lopez. And the senior wideout just couldn't come up with it. Good coverage Here's by Ozzy Salazar in the secondary Eight, by the five, Mustangs. Six. The completion brings Nine, up four. second and ten Eight, five, six, with 32 two, seconds nine, left. Four. You bet the Raiders will try to get any kind of points here, trailing 35 to nine. This is the seventh offensive possession by the Raiders. I want to say this is the fourth time eight, they've been five, in Mustang six, territory. They two, only have uh, nine points to show for. So that's eight, something five, that the, the kids need to two, pick up on six, and say, three. we have opportunities. We see the goal line right in front of us. We just need to figure out how to punch it in. Garza, with pressure in his face, just throws it out, of, just throws it into the dirt. That was a great play by Garza, knowing that the pressure was in his face, but did they call grounding? That's the call right here. He got it back to the line of scrimmage, so I don't think. Yeah. No, no, just an incomplete, simply an incomplete pass. Nice uh, job by the quarterback there, avoiding a huge sack. That would have been a good 15-yard sack. Uh, it does stop the clock, though, with uh, 26.8 seconds, and the Raiders are facing a third and 10 from the Mustangs' 36-yard line. Garza with a delayed handoff to Barbarena. Barbarena, two, three yards shy of the first down. Lucas Rios again making the stop defensively for the Mustangs. Raiders burn their final timeout with... 21 seconds left, and PSG North trails 35 to 9.
Are you a PSJA ISD alumni? Want to give back to your community? The PSJA Education Foundation is dedicated to providing funds for charitable and educational purposes to students and staff. Each year, the foundation will award competitive teacher mini grants to develop classroom projects and scholarships to district students to assist them with their higher education expenses. Local businesses, corporations, and you can help by donating to the Education Foundation because education is the key to the future. For more information about the PSJA Education Foundation, Contact Joy Gonzalez at 283-3403. Twenty-one seconds left, and the Raiders are lining up for a 46-yard field goal attempt, which falls short. And the field goal attempt. It's no good. This is the short. other kicker, Ruben Reyes, number four. So it's in was contact with the uh, field goal kicker, but no call. In the first half. Missed field goal. He almost had enough leg. It was definitely straight enough. Uh, but the end result is the Mustangs take over with about 16.5 seconds left at the 29-yard line at their own. The Raiders getting a 40-yard field goal by Edgar Ruiz earlier in the game, which made it 21 to 9. They have Ruben Reyes, who attempted a 40 kicker, number 31, Margarito Carpio, who plays soccer on the Raiders boys team. Mustangs with 16 seconds left and one timeout. Sanchez, quick toss to the outside. Steven Regalado passes, caught, still on his feet. Ooh, big hit by the Number two on the carry, and a big Steven tackle Regalado. by KT. That takes us to the end of the Excuse ball me, game. Matt Gars, number nine. The, 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 the Raiders, five, number eighty-two. Raiders Clock five. expires with that incomplete, with that complete pass. Halftime score: Macau Memorial Mustangs thirty-five, PSJ North Raiders nine. You see here the income, the completion to Regalado. Well, first quarter expires. The band will come out. Halftime score: Macau Memorial Mustangs thirty-five, PSJ North Raiders. Nine. Enjoy the halftime, folks. We'll see you in 28 minutes.